These are fluorescently labeled endothelial cells forming a vessel and growing in a lab on a chip model. Recently I talked about applications of 3D printing in a research lab and these were actually the three models that were used in attempt to create a lab on a chip. The first model has four connected cones which are actually reservoirs for the growth media. Initially I 3D printed them using resin, but then I switched to FDM 3D printing simply because it was faster, but mainly because the resin version was just too smooth for this application. Each cone can hold up to 400 microliters of growth media, which means the cells living in the chip can survive quite a long time. But the best thing is that they can be actually cleaned and reused. The second model is the template for the actual chip, which is composed of three channels for cells and eight inlets for growth media. Here, the biggest challenge was to optimize the parameters needed for 3D printing the smallest detail on the chip, which are small barricades between the channels that measure only 100 micrometers. The template and the special gel is then used to make the final chip. The chip is then placed on a cover glass and a model with four connected cones is fitted on top of the chip. The cones are then filled with growth media while the remaining inlets are used to introduce the cells. At the moment I'm still perfecting the process, especially when it comes to the step of post-processing of the template for the chip. So I'll keep you updated, but it's exciting to see what modern 3D printers can do.